Hello everyone, Wind you're here and welcome back to the East Roman Empire campaign for Total War Attila, where at the moment things are going well for us. The Danes have pretty much been eliminated from the campaign, I'm in a position now to attack Lazica and start taking back my lands, and we're two turns away from the end of the chapter, finally. So all in all, this will be a good episode, as long as things don't go awry, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Now before we start moving troops around, something that caught my eye is this, when I loaded up the save. The Sclavanians have re-emerged once again. So this faction, once fought lost, has risen from the ashes. Now where have you risen? Over here at Jelonus. Okay. Now looking at the ownership of the regions around it, what I'm thinking has happened is that the Gretungians have liberated them. So this will make them the Gretungians' military ally. But they haven't declared war on me yet. They may do, but I imagine the difference in power between our factions might put them off for a little bit. At least until I get troops down there, and then it may be another faction to either liberate, sorry, not liberate, subjugate, or kill off. We'll see what happens. But yeah, I just noticed that. I wanted to check that out. Let's have a look and see what else has come up. Battle of Morimer, we had a decisive defeat and the settlement got sacked. Hispania have declared war on the Geats. That's okay, as long as they don't take too much territory. I want more of it for myself. Whole bunch of demolition and seasoned conditions. Ah, okay. So we had a imminent rebellion taking place in Britannia Inferior. Let's go and have a look and see what we can do about this. Britannia Inferior is the middle province with... Teresis and that up here. Sorry, Caledonia and Hiberian down here, and Britannia Superior down here. Okay, let's start sorting this out. We've got Plague as well, that's not good. Right. Now we do have the army here. In fact, this was my faction heir's army, but he hasn't come back yet. Is he back yet? He should be. Let's have a look. Publius, Flavius, Lucius. Here you are. There we go. He's 60 years old, but he's very, very good. I must say. In fact, we can give you something else here as well. A new companion. An advocate, monumental mason, ambitious magistrate, silver shields, chief overseer, hmm. speaker in tongues. Plus my public order bonus from a governed province thanks to Greek Christianity. But the religious... Oh, I've got a plan for you. And let me see. Siege engineer... Let's give you Thracian Bodyguard, plus 25% charge bonus, plus 15 melee attack. That's pretty useful. Let's give you that. I've got a plan for that Speaker of Tongues, but we'll get to him. Now, let me see. We can actually move you guys down towards the Borokum, but I would like, if we can... Yeah, let's move you guys to Lindum. Because at the moment... Actually, stop, 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 stop a second. I forgot to check. Do I actually... Can I actually move these guys? Yes, I can, just about. Okay, if it's free with him in the province. Okay, let's see what happens when we move him out. It's still pretty... I mean, it's not the best, but it's only minus 46. So, let's have a look. See if it's updated. Yeah, minus 1. Okay, that's doable. What's the problem, though? It's mainly down to immigration. Okay, Greek Christianity's going up. Okay, that's a thing. I remember saying about before with some of the southern provinces down here where the empires of sand start off. At the moment, Greek Christianity is 22% here in Caledonia, and yet I've only got a minus 5. Yet down in Ethiopia, it's something like minus 10, minus 15, or something like that, Because even though I think Greek Christianity is the main religion there. It's so annoying to deal with. Anyway, so, okay, we can deal with that, but we need to convert over some buildings anyway. So let's do this. We need to convert that. We'll convert this. Do I need growth or public order? To be honest, let's go for the growth. You can be dismantled. No, actually, no. We'll keep you. We'll convert you over, I think. Let's go for a scriptorum this time. Get that research going a little bit more quickly. Okay, go herd, you can go. Clay pits, you can go. And we're going to keep the boule just because even though the public order problems and squalor is a big thing, it gives me a flat bonus of 150 food. It's a very good building up here in the north. It's one of the Celtic buildings, in fact. Um, to help out, we'll get some more food coming from here as well. It's not going to be much, but every little bit's going to help. If we head back down to Borkum, is there anything we need to do here? 
I would like to sort out sanitation. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to dismantle this one here because it's only a small bonus. We'll dismantle this one as well and we'll swap it over then so we can actually get that big bonus then from one of the higher tier bit ones. Got banking house here. Yeah, let's increase our trade tariff a little bit more. Why not? We'll do that. In fact, I would like to try and upgrade these because once we get to tier 4 like this, we can actually improve the fertility in a region and the province as well. Because of, which means instead of this being, for example, it's one of the mod things. So instead of just being meager, it will actually jump up to fertility basically. Uh, this will be fertility 1 at the moment. So once that's built, I'll actually jump up to fertility 2. So we should make a nice little bonus from that eventually. I won't spend much more because I need to make sure public order and other buildings are, not, are done. But for now, Lindum has been sorted. So let's start sorting out everywhere else, shall we? In fact, do I have a religious building getting done up here in Teresa's out of curiosity? I don't. I need to remember to build one at some point. Okay. So first of all, let's go over here to the Danes, because we've pretty much eliminated them now from the campaign. They've got one small, tiny little horde somewhere on here, and they have a fleet somewhere in the Northern Sea. Where are they? Ah, here it is. The Blackened Sails, only two units. Should be pretty easy pickings for my fleet. The only problem is with my fleet is this. Because I used them to colonize Al Al Alabu, and the fact that they did take some casualties from the Danes in the last episode, if I remember correctly. It means I need to get them replenished a little bit if I want to make them a bit better fighting. So let's have you guys come down towards Havan in order to go into the docks there. Because this is a contested waters area, the replenishment is very, very slow. And it does improve once you put them into docks anyway. So let me just give you some troops if possible. Yes, we can give you guys a bunch of stuff. Okay, how many can we give? We can pretty much fill up the fleet. Okay, we'll do that. There we go. So we have four lots of Greek fire, four lots of batteries. Do I want to merge the rest of the fleets? No, I'm not going to. They'll be fine. Let me see. You guys... Public order is okay in the region, so let's have you guys move up in order to attack Hrevna's Horde. Can you get there this turn? You cannot. Okay. What am I going to do? I'm going to see about moving them slightly... I want to make sure they can get a fortified stance, essentially, so we can continue moving them up next turn. I think here should be quite nice. It's still technically in my territory, so we'll still continue getting our replenishment. There we go. Uh, next turn, we can either attack Hrevna's Holt, or if we can see one of the da that little Dane army, we will kill them off. They haven't gone past us, so they are somewhere up here. We'll have to keep an eye out. Okay, is there anything here we need to do? This has got two more turns before it's be built. This needs to be converted over. It's infertile here, so let's convert this over to a farming town. That can go, and we can start getting fields here as well. Military jetty, we'll keep it going for now, it's fine. Once we take Heavener's Hold, then we can also start getting sanitation sorted here as well. Okay, so that's the Dane sorted. Let's go down now to the Geats. We've got a couple of armies to move around here. Uh, I've got this one here, for example, at Bacara. Now, public order is actually at zero, so I don't really want to move them right now until the public order is so sort of stabilized, unless we could do something like... Nah, we're not... We're actually allied for those. We can't go after Stoker. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Um, We can build... Let's build a capital here for the public order. We'll dismantle this one, because then we can get the gold mines in. Then. And... Let's just give you some local industry. Get the little bonus up. But we can't, we're not going to move these guys. It was tempting though, because I would like to be able to march them down here towards Olisipo. But I don't want to affect public order and have to deal with rebellion, so we'll leave it for now. We do have here though. You guys, you've been in ambush stance, so let's get you out of here and see who we can attack. Talentum could be a target, but we did have an army somewhere up. Yeah, we've got an army right here. So, what I'm thinking is, let's actually go for Kuduba if we can. Let's just see if there's any enemies there, first of all. March. Nope, it's actually unoccupied. We can actually march straight in then. Well, <laughs> once we defeat the garrison. Or not. Why can we just de we captured it straight away? Christ, there must have not been. Why is there no garrison? There's no enemies around here, so there should be a garrison. Let's have a look. Oh, that's why. It's basically been so badly damaged, there's not going to have any troops here anyway. 
Okay, we'll repair that then. What's going on here? They've got... They've got like free... Yeah, they've got like free trade builder. I don't know. Okay, let's do this. We're going to dismantle you. We'll dismantle you. We'll keep the trade depot and we'll swap it over to... Let me see. Do we really need food here? No, because I will be able to go after Malika and his basilis down below. Let's just make you into a wine import market. Get that extra money coming in straight away. Enclosed fields that can be dismantled. We'll build, we'll pair the church and we'll just swap it over. It might, it doesn't make any difference. It's only t number one, the tier one, so it will basically go away pretty quickly. So yeah, we've now taken Corduba. Talentum actually, we can see about taking it over with this army here. So, let's attack. We are marching through Langabad territory, but I thought we had a military access treaty with them. Okay, let's just attack. Let's see. Bands Bar is slightly in my favor. I would fight this out myself, but like I said, I want to finish the chapter this episode. So, I'm just going to order resolve it if possible. Hopefully, though, if we lose this, it's going to be a problem, but we'll be okay. Let's have a look. Okay, we killed them off. Fantastic. Did we lose any units? That's the issue. We almost did, but the casualties are spread out, but we mean we can get them back with replenishment pretty easily. So let's just go and occupy Talentum. And let's have a look see what we need to do here. Kafka Nova is actually something that we need to get sorted out as well. Oh Christ, the public order is massive a problem here now. Okay, we sort have to sort that out. Okay. So let's convert, spend some money. We need to convert this over. We've got Scriptorum. We'll keep that for now. That could be demolished. Do I want to keep this? Do we have sanitation? We do not. But we can get that next turn, I guess. Yeah, let's convert this over to a forum. This can now be changed from a warrior shrine. Do I want a Greek church? Now, let's go for a Greek hermitage. Let me check something, in fact. Yes, because Carthaginesis is a province surrounded by all the other ones. So it's got Tarakinesis up here, we've got Galicia here, Lestitania here. We can actually, it'd be a good place actually for me to build a Greek hermitage in order to get that osmosis going around to the other areas as well. So we'll do that, like so. We need to repair these and demolish the Germanic burial site can go. That can go because I need to build my own fields. That can definitely go, because the minus 100 food, Jesus. And we'll repair this. Let's get, just get some fishing, no, let's get some trade jetties for now. It's meager fertility, but then once we start, get, you know, reducing buildings and getting rid of them and that, it should improve quite nicely. So there we go, we've managed to take that. We do have the army here. Let's have you guys just sail over towards Kafka Nova. We don't want this area, so you guys can just head straight over there and you actually will be able to garrison it next turn before we have any public order issues. Well, let's see. Yeah, Conquest, minus 20 at the moment from that, minus 20 from that, minus 14 instability at the moment, and 8 from that. Okay, that's fine. We'll deal with that. Okay, next stop, Lazica. So, we've got a position now, we've got an army right here, that's uh, the army we brought up from Egypt. So, I'm going to have these guys come and attack Trimpezus. Now, there is the Lazica main force led by, by a faction leader. It's going to be either in Cortes or in Trapezus, because I can't see it anywhere else in the map. Now, because we've been dealing with those tiny little armies that have been coming from Cortes at Mesqueta and Duin, I imagine it's going to be here. So, let's go over here and see if we can take out their faction leader. If he's still here, then. Yes, he is still here. Okay. March forward. Okay, Bounce Bar, again, slightly in my favor, but I don't want to take unnecessary casualties. So what I'm going to do is going to try something. We're going to have you lay siege for the moment. Just keep him under control. And I did have a second army here, but have you guys finished recruiting? You have. What am I missing, though? Large onages. Okay, they take one turn, and I do know that I've got, yes, we've got the ability to build them here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have you guys move to Sinope. We'll get the public order and then under control a little bit as well. And I can hire my large onagers. They'll be done next turn, and then they can come in to help reinforce Atrampezus. 
yeah, that's pretty, all in all a pretty decent thing. We'll increase that just for the moment. Okay, is there anything else now I need to worry about? We haven't got much money left. Ah, this is what. So this is what I was thinking about when I saw the speaker in tongues. If I go to General Hilaris' army and we swap over the artist, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give him the thing for speaker of tongues. Because at the moment, like I said before, this is a bit of a bug I find. If we check out here, even though Greek Christianity is still the largest religion now in the area, we've still got a massive minus 15 problem because of religious differences. Which to me doesn't make much sense. The only thing I think is some sort of glitch coming up for thanks to the, the time, thanks to whatchamacallit, the Empires of Sands factions. So we'll just have to keep him there for the moment, but hopefully that speaker of tongues will improve things a bit. There was one more thing I needed to do this turn. Ah, that's it. It was recommended by my viewer Pakala in the last com episode with the comments that while I do have my faction leader somewhere around here, ah, here he is. While he's on his way over to attack the help defend against the Gretungian attack, which has so far claimed a couple of my territories, I do have nothing here at Pateska at the moment. So what I can do is see about recruiting a new army if we can. If we can, we've got one more army we can recruit. We're just going to build a tiny little army, just something that we can sort of keep um, reinforce anything that comes our way. So we can actually use the 11th Legion banner for this. There we go. So you can pop in here. I think we could probably only recruit, yeah, Eastern Auxilia Palatine. But we'll recruit as many of these we can get in two turns then, it seems. So this will actually add to the garrison that's here at Patesco and hopefully be a sort of a bulk walk, bulwark against the Great Hungarian invasion that's currently over here at the moment. They have taken a few casualties from the attrition, that's something at least. But there we go. That is the end of the turn. So let's go do that. Now I have worked out the timings from this and from the looks of it what's going to happen is that the final episode for this campaign, episode 65, is going to be coming up on the same week as Thrones of Britannia comes out. So what I'll do is in episode 65 I'm going to have a... Um, oh. Okay, well, it has been mentioned that a War of the Alamans would be quite entertaining, so it looks like we're going to have one. So, what have we got? They're reliable and defensive, they're not going to be conquerors all that much. Okay, the only issue is here, they've got the, their only ally is the Langobards, which is also one of my allies. So what do I want to do? Uh, how do the Langobards feel about us? They actually really, really like us. But if we check on here, they also don't really like them as much. Hmm. Now what I'm thinking, I'm not. If I call, don't call my allies in for help because I haven't got many allies. I've got the Western Romans, which aren't like effective right now, the Langobards and the White Huns, as well as like defensive allies here, the Frankish Separatists and the Antians. If I don't get, let them ask them to get involved, it means that the Langobards will probably break the treaty with me to join up with them. And then that means I can actually start invading along here and start taking a few more regions. So let's try this out and see. Okay, I thought that would happen. So the Langobards have declared war against me uh, and sided with them. But none of my puppet states have left me, and all my military allies are still with me, apart from the Langobards. So that's okay, that works out. Aye. So we've got a new... I have to deal with this now. I'll think about it. But yeah, what I was saying about before is that... Because the final episode for this series comes out the same week as Thrones of Britannia, what I'm going to do is, Phones Britannia campaign is going to be happening, and it's going to be taking my Monday slot because of this campaign finishing. And in episode 65, I'm going to do a what, like, faction vote video thing you can do on the side of the video, just so you can sort of, I can decide then which faction you guys would like to see. I'm a little bit tempted towards Wales at first, but I'm quite happy to let you guys pick. So... What I'll do is, on Thursday, when Thrones of Britannia comes out, I'm going to see about doing the first episode for the series then. 
Right, it'll probably come out on Friday, thanks to me having to spend time rendering the video and uploading it. But you'll you'll get it that week, and then it will continue then every Monday as a result. I'm not sure yet how exactly I want to do it. I would, I'm thinking about doing it as a sort of abridged campaign, very much in the ilk of uh, officially Devon, because going by, like I said before, because of things like what I've seen with Total War Warhammer, where it's difficult for my computer You're to keep up with the speed. Wisdom, you might find um, the Marians. Nah. I will fight them at some point, but not right now. But yeah, I, I might try and do it as more of a bridged campaign, so it's going to be more post-commentary and showing you, you know, not going through the nitty-gritty bits, and it allows me to edit out all the stuff that doesn't really matter in the episode, in terms of like... What five minutes of this I've got just going through the end turn phase? I can get rid of things like that. So something I will see about doing. It's going to be a bit different, but um, I'll see what happens. But yes, there will be a voting video for the factions that you want to, guys want to see me play as coming up in episode sixty-five, along with the epilogue for the final part of the series. Okay, so I now need to deal with the Alamans now and the Langobards. Okay, what can I do? What can I do? I'll take a second to have a look and see what the map's like. Okay. You failed. That's good. You succeeded. Okay. So it means we're going to have some issues, I think, with public order again. Consumption. 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 Okay, Carthagenesis, you're about to rebel. Okay, and that was not surprising because that's the place with Kafka Nova. But because we've got, let's have a quick look. Dalmatia is now got population surplus, so it's cool. A lot of demolition been done. Someone is now respectful. Lucius Lupus has now improved religious influence in a region that he's governor, but he's not governor; he's my general. So, food shortages have now been ended. Okay, I didn't realize we had any. Right, let's do this. Okay, actually, let's stop a second. Let's have a look. Um, right, let's show my military units. Okay. And diplomatic status. Okay. So enemies now are the ones in red. Right. Okay. Okay, this is what I'm going to do, I think. An amendment to the grand plan. So what I got, once things have resolved themselves in Britannia with public order, I can bring in Lucius's army down to attack either the Langobards or the Alamans. Probably the Alamans, because then I can push in from this side. To support him, I'll be taking this army here, which is at the moment on their way up to fight the Geats and the Danes. But once that's done, I can actually bring them down south and start attacking Germania. My faction leader is going to move towards Gothard Scanza in order to try and push back the Gretungian invasion. But to help as well against the Alamans, I do have this army here, it seems, which I forgot, I didn't realize I had. So what I'll do is, I think I was recruiting, I was, had a couple, I need cavalry if I remember correctly. So I need to, once I get some cavalry for them, these guys can push up against the Alamans here at Wetia, Latia and Noricum, or even through here. In order to take these territories, although this region province, I will let the rest of Romans have, I think. Right. And then these guys can continue what they're doing. These one army is going to move down towards here, the other one's going to push up through their territory here, especially if I can take out their main armies here. We should be able to push forward. And then with my faction leader, we'll have that too. Yeah, this will work. This will work. So let's start sorting things out, shall we? So first of all, let's go and defeat the Danes. Now they are somewhere. In fact, I can see they're right up here, thanks to that little tent symbol. Let's go up here and kill them. Can we reach them this turn? We cannot, but we can get up there so close that they cannot get past me and we will not be able to fight them at some point. There we go. We'll be going after them pretty soon, don't you worry. We also, because there's no gas in the Herbness Halt, we'll be able to take them out then pretty easily next turn as well. Okay, you guys have built, got your fleets. Let's have you guys move towards the Danes' last one over here. You'll take them out next turn. Right, we've got a spy, and actually, let's use my spies now. Because you're right here, you can actually spy out what's going on here. So far, it's pretty okay. 
Um, alright. I'll keep you there for the moment. You can keep an eye on the elements. My priest... Let's actually have this. You can increase public order a little bit for me then. And start the religion conversion a bit better. See, so you guys, you're going to move over to Catholic and Nova. And then you'll be able to garrison the settlement, get some replenishment, and get public order under control. There we go. Plus seven. Right. So now that we've got War of the Langobards, we can actually down here start attacking some of their territory as well. That would be a pretty nice addition, I think, to my lands. But the problem is, like for example, Kafka Nova, we can actually go after Sigabriga here. But if we do that, there will be a rebellion taking place. But would it be worth it for me to get that region? You know what? I'm going to risk it. We'll have the Legion here, and they can go back, pretty much control these two here. So if there is any issues, they can just come over and kill the rebels that pop up as soon as they appear. So let's, yeah, let's send you guys over here to Sigabriga. And we'll just wipe them out quite quickly. We've got protective stance. Alright, I forgot to put my, ti my timer on, but I will basically play to the beginning of the next chapter, which is actually next turn if I remember correctly, so it should be... We'll get things going, and then and we'll finish then. So Sigabrika has now been taken, but we're definitely going to have a rebellion taking place. It's unfortunate, but it's acceptable. We're going to have you become that. In fact, Scriptorum... No, I'll tell you what, cancel this, in fact. Let's get sanitation going here, I think it will be the main thing. We'll dismantle this, and we'll swap the Scriptorum over and then... Well, we'll have a town center, we'll just... Swap it over so it becomes a capital instead. I'll oh, do that, that would be better. Okay, village, we need to convert this. We need to dismantle that. We'll keep this. Nah, let's not keep the skirmisher range. We don't really need it for anything. And we'll dismantle the chieftain's hall as well. That can be dism up, dismantled. That can be dismantled. That can be dismantled. And what's the fertility like here? Meager. I'm going to make you guys into a standard colonia, or a town instead. I don't necessarily need a lot of farming the town, especially as the fertility should be going up after the next turn. Okay, so you guys have taken that. We have this army. You guys can come down, I think. And Do I want to go after Hispalis or Malika? Let's have you go after Malika, because then we can march this way up and then towards uh, Hispalis and push forward and then towards Pax Augusta in there. So there we go, nice, easy, auto-resolvable battle. I love that kill animation. Just the casualty of, casual thing of stabbing them in the face and the next minute having their head fall off. I remember Atticus in my Tale of Two Cities always seemed to get that as his main execution move. It was really funny to watch. Right. Let's start some new route. You can convert over to this. You can convert over to a chapel. You can demolish that. That's a wine market, so this will be demolished again. And again, we'll have a sanitation build in here. Gaussian, you can go. Fruit Orchard, we'll keep that. We'll repair that, and we'll repair this. And then next turn, we can go after his palace as well. Yeah, we're going to have some issues with instability, but it'll be okay. It'll be fine, I'm sure. Okay, uh, thinking of... We also got this army here. I'm tempted to go after Asturico if I can, just because even though we're going to have Rebellion again, we can easily go back and forth between these two, and with a garrison here with the walled settlement should keep things under control. So let's move you here. Okay, we can actually attack straight away. Let's do that. Again, nice, easy, auto-resolvable battle. You're dead. Right. Let's take that. Very few casualties, which is nice to see. Ready we'll take it. Battle. Yeah, definitely gonna have rebellion taking places in a couple of regions next turn, but we'll manage it pretty okay. We'll just manage that, dismantle this, and dismantle that. We'll improve the fields here. Let's get a Tana going for the moment. And what am I missing from here? Gold mine. There we go. So that's the Greek, that's the Spanish side sorted. Let's go over to Lazica now. And see what we can do here. Right. 
So this army is going to be coming down in order to attack um, Cortes and then head down to the south because it's going to take longer for me to attack Lazica territory and go that way than it is for me to move upwards towards the Gretungians. So what I can do actually, let me see. Okay, idea. We're going to, what I'm going to do actually, I'm going to, because you guys can reach there, can you? Yes. What we're going to do, we're going to have these guys break the siege. Right, so they can pull back. You guys can come now and attack Trampezas. We'll have two armies against their one, so it should be a very easy order resolve to do. In fact, it's very much in our favor. We couldn't lose if we tried, so let's go protective and kill them. There we go. That's their faction leader dead as well, if I remember correctly. Very few casualties. We did take a couple from the reinforcements, but that's fine. You guys can now occupy it and take it back. Now that, because I've taken that now, this leaves this army now free. We can hopefully move straight up towards Cortes and take the region. So let's put, can I ask you guys to push upwards. Now they don't, shouldn't have an army. They don't actually have an army there. Nice and easy pickings then. As a very tiny garrison. Let's finish them off. Nice protective stance. And just like that now, we've taken Lazica's capital. A very nice addition. And we can now complete the province as a result. So we're going to take that. And we now need to start the conversions over and with the repairs. So we're keeping the weaver for now. Food's fine. We'll repair that. Governor's palace we're going to demolish. Scriptorium we've got here and a governor's house. Let's improve the governor's house and the sanitation. Um, I'm going to dismantle that and I'm going to repair that. Okay. So now what's going to happen next turn? This army is going to start pushing south and start making its way around towards Dahistan. We might even be able to just cut across right here, but it, it might just be just as much time. Whereas the army here, Sinope, or Trampezas I should say, should be moving up then towards Anacopia to take that and we'll be able to start pushing upwards and then into the terrain here. In fact, if this rebel army takes out Samadar, it could be a nice little uh, cheeky thing for them to do that so we can actually take it and have the whole province then up here in the north. That would be a nice little addition. Okay, so that's that done. We need, we have that army now, I was waiting to get some cavalry for you guys. So we're going to pull you guys back to Tremotium. Because yeah, we just need some cavalry now in order to finish this off. So, we have access now to Tagma to Cavalry. Thank you for that notification. It's a bit late, but thank you for telling me. Let's give you two units of these. And let's give you some of these guys. Why not? So two more turns and then you'll be able to join up in the war against the Alamans. So far it should be okay, but what I'm going to do if I can afford it, and we can pick you, is I'm going to ask Zavaria to become a garrison colonia. And I'm going to ask for you, actually you're being done right now. Okay, let's sort you out. Get governor's building, sewers, local industry, and oh, actually let's swap that and let's give you some fields for food. Yeah, we'll sort that out. Okay, so what else we need to deal with? We've got the faction leader is over here. We can move him now towards Pateska. It'll take how many turns? Two more turns to get there. And then we can start fighting the Gretungians and start pushing back against them. There we go. That's just, things nice and easy there. Is there anything now that I'm missing out in terms of armies? You've moved. You're here. Let's start pushing you... Let's start moving you down into Alaman territory. We can use you as a spy of sorts just to see what's going on down here. Yeah, Lubfordum is actually very lightly defended. It would be... I think the Alamans are going to be pretty easy pickings for me. You're about to defeat them. You're a spy now here. You've moved. Let's... Let's have you move towards here. Oh, too far, too far. No, here. That's where I wanted you to go. Yeah, because you're over here at Zaria, you'll be able to move your way over to here and then and start making things a bit easier for the population there with the religion. You've moved, you've moved, you've moved, you've moved. You, let's have you pushing up now towards the Gretungians, just so we can keep an eye on what's going on up here. 
General, you're still down here, but hopefully we can start sorting things out with the religion. Let's put, spend some money on this as well, just to help things out. Food is plenty, that's fine. Okay, anything else I need to spend money on? In fact, Syria, we can develop you. Let's give you some more f land. Let's march back up to Britain quickly, so we can just double check everything's been done here. Okay, you're fine. You've been done, so now let's get you a capital building. No, sanitation is what I wanted here, wasn't it? Yes, my bad. You can dismantle. We've got a mint skin formed here in a food market. You can just continue being disbanded. This can get better. 40, 60, 56. Okay, let's go for a cattle hood right now. And we'll give you a tanner. Right. So that's that bit sorted. Let's come down to here, just double check a couple of things. Everything's been done for that what settlement. Everything's been ordered here and here. Okay, let's end the turn. Servius Juventus Silo. You've now gone up in rank. Let me see, zeal could really much be improved, so let's give you Vicarious. There we go, you've got a nice standard zeal now as a result. Okay. So, we might have just reached the 30 minute mark. I, like I said, I forgot how, uh, what time, oh, excuse me, what time I started recording this. But we finished the chapter, which is most important. It is autumn, 432, War. isn't it? Our gods ah, I thought you would. Ancestors love it. You, I expect to see mewling like a woman. Okay, we'll accept that. Again, I'm not calling in my allies. Maybe doing the um, part of the campaign, I'm gonna have to play by myself. We're gonna have, oh, we'll maybe declare war on more people. But at the moment, we've got quite a few enemies, haven't we? We've got the Geats, we've got the Danes, we've got the Alamans, the Langobards, the Sclavanians now, the Gothungians, Lazica. We've got about seven enemies. Only the greatest dare speak of peace mm. to their enemies. Only you know what? I'm going to give you these guys two off opportunities because I haven't had anything with them yet. I'm going to have you guys, if you become my puppet states, and I will even offer you a high trade bonus. Will you accept this? We come to you in strength. No. Okay. You're going to die now. No, I will give them one more chance. Some of my other puppet states, like I've said before, things like Lazica and the Danes, well, when they were still around, I will uh, kill them because, as far as I'm concerned, they betrayed me. Right? But they betrayed the trust and the relationship that we had between them. Oh, you cheeky sods. Okay, that's, a f that's fine. That's fine. We'll just fight this out. They, they were going to take it anyway. If they sack it, so be it. If they take it... Then we'll just kill them off next turn. They haven't got a big army here. It mainly, mainly consists of mercenaries. So it should be pretty easy pickings for us. I didn't actually see what they did. Did they do anything? <laughs> no, they haven't. They've just sacked it. Now that's going to be a bit of a problem. But on the other hand, Talentum was part of the province with Kafkanova and that. And we were going to have a rebellion taking place next turn anyway. So... The only thing is, if it spawns by Talentum, it means that the rebels are going to be able to just walk in and take the region. Okay, you guys, you've just... Oh, you've bypassed. Oh no, that's another army. I was thinking for a second, like, have they come to attack or they've just bypassed it? If they waited one more turn, I could have finished off my recruitment and had those extra units come in to help. But, fortunately, that hasn't happened. You're coming in as well, I saw. But there's only a tiny little army. I think they might only have what, one or two units, and that's Lazica Force led by their faction leader. So again, it's no real issue for me. Uh, oh, cutscene time! It's the end of the chapter. Finally. <sighs> okay. You know, it just occurred to me that guy, the priest there. He reminds me of the advisor from Total War Warhammer. Only faith could save them. 
fact, the model looks pretty much the, the same, from what I remember. In fear. Hmm. Do not listen to the false prophecies of the heretics. Cast them out, for they have brought the scourge to our door. And when he opened the fifth seal, I saw the souls of them that were slain for the word of God. No mercy for the wicked. Okay, so that was a nice little cutscene. So let's just go through the notifications and we'll get. Uh, that'll be done then for the episode. So Talenton was sacked, military investment, Patiska is now under siege. Natural causes, Quint Quintia Flavia Cecilia has died. I'm not sure who he was actually. Was he my governor? I don't know. Consumption, consumption. Chapter 3, Devastation, Abandon or Hope. Time marches on. We have achieved much, but our people face ever-increasing odds. We've now completed two out of the five bonus objectives. And we're now on to Chapter 4, Retribution. There will be no mercy for the wicked. We have to survive until 445 AD. We've got some new bonus objectives, and we've got 8,000 into the treasury. So we've got a massive amount of money to spend. That's what I want to see. Ah... Uh, Pay him off. Yeah. Sure, we've got plenty of experience. Okay. So I'm going to end the, end the episode here. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you very much for watching as always. And I hope you all join me next time. As I continue the war against Lazica. And start dealing with the Alamans, the Geats. The, basically all of our enemies. As the numbers keep getting higher and higher. But until then, goodbye for now.